Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 14th, 15th, and 16th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. Okay, I don't know what, but the word, as I was um, getting prepared, the word cantankerous came to me. So is that that we're being cantankerous, or is that because we're dealing with somebody who's cantankerous? I can't tell you that. But I just felt cantankerous, okay? And it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so short reading. I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. But this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Remember, the full, full moon is on the 17th. And this is the time, like three days before, three days after, is the time where we release, relinquish, and request. We release what doesn't, what you know, what holds us back. We relinquish what does not serve us, and we request the things we need, we want. It's just a good time to get out there and ask. Okay. Now, also there is that conjunction right after that, like the 18th, I think it is, and that's with Neptune, Mars, and Mercury. I'm pretty sure. And that could make people, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's the cantankerousness because it could make things, even though the, this Sagittarius moon, and that's, I'm sorry if I didn't say that, the moon is in Sagittarius. It's a very hopeful, very optimistic moon. But then right after that, it's, it, you know, that, that energy can be very, again, you know, very radical, very um, unsettling energy. Now, we'll have to see. So let's go ahead and see what we have here for my Leos. Yeah, I do feel, Leos, that you need to, um, you know, please remember Mercury retrograde starting, I think it was the 7th in July. So then that means that what happens is with Mercury retrograde, it doesn't um, actually reverse, but it appears to reverse. So say that it's on the 50 yard, Line. Okay, I'm going to use uh, football. Don't don't uh, laugh at me too much. But it's on the 50 yard line when it starts to go reversed. Okay, well it means that it starts slowing down at the 40. Okay, so it goes to the 50. You know, and, and the slowdown takes about a week or so before. So it starts slowing down, and then it starts to go back, and then it gets to the zero. And then it starts to go direct. Well, then it takes a good, I don't know, good, um, you know, four weeks before it gets back to that 50. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, I started a job in Mercury retrograde and I'm like, oh, I tried not to get, I tried to start before. Nope. And I'm like, well, let's see how long this one's going to last. And sure enough, it lasted me a total of two months to the day. I started when it when it went retrograde, and I ended pretty much when it had reached, like I said, that 50. Okay. Um, okay, three cards down. The last card is reversed. Let's see what this says for you. The six of fire. Yeah, things got to be happening. I don't like any of the stall tactics that I've been feeling. Uh, they have to be happening. They ha You have to be marching forward into this. People have to be saying, wow, there's the Leo, there's Leo, oh my gosh, Leo, 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 you know, adulation, yes, things are good, everything's happening better, you know, it's got to go forward, I really feel it's got to go forward, and then, when the closer we get to that Mercury retrograde, then we start to slow a little bit of, you know, we kind of go into a kind of a um, stasis period, okay, so, Victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. Now, next card. The Emperor, Archangel Michael. So we have two very, very strong, very strong masculine fig figures here. Okay, masculine energy. It doesn't matter if you're female or a male. We have both, you know, we both have both feminine and masculine energy. So this is going to be more about that masculine energy for us, whether again, we're male or female. And the Emperor, Archangel Michael, Archangel Energy, is very much about putting things in order, putting things where they're supposed to be. So is this that we ourselves are putting our lives in order? It could be. Is it that the universe is putting us in order where, we're, where we need to be? I think that one's happening more so. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. 
Leos are very good Leo leaders. Um, you know, but again, you know, I feel that this is, I think that we are more in a, you know, I think that the universe is, is there's more effect from the universe than by our own, um, our own powers. Okay. Next card is the reversed one. Also, this one is awakening. Again, we have Archangel Energy, Archangel Gabriel, messages, you know, the messenger, the divine messenger. You know, I, I'm, you know, for this and this, I'm really, really hoping that the messages come in, that that's very, very positive, and that, you know, that you're hearing the good news, whatever that good news is. I'm just hoping that it just kind of just comes right in for us. And, you know, and then if not, maybe it's also you listening to your divine, your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guides, voice of the universe. Maybe it's when you're out there on the, you know, the 15th, 16th, or even the 17th, you know, just basically putting it out there, um, you know, that, you know, that you actually get that divine inspiration too. Now, this is look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. I, you know, I mean, that standstill, you know, I hate those standstills, but this is the one, I feel that these are very strong archangel, um, universal type of energies. I think this is the one we really need to concentrate on. This is about, you know, because this is, you know, fire, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This is about us coming into our own, okay? It's got to be here. Now, my caveat is that even though we're coming into our own, don't expect to stay there for the next five, seven years because things will change even more so and we'll come into a better of our own, okay? But that's for another day and that's for another time. So my Leos, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.